check out this fog. It's everywhere. It's early morning on Sunday, September 23rd. We don't have a single minute to waste. We have to start driving right now. We have to be in northeast by 11 a.m. Definitely not enough sleep at night. Oh man, this is like driving through milk. Feels and looks so weird. Fuel for the truck and coffee, which is fuel for the driver. And now we have an issue. The trailer's brakes seem to be locking. I cannot take off, I cannot move back. The only thing I can do is disconnect the cable between the trailer and the truck. But if I do that, I have no brakes at all. This has happened once before, but it was very temporary. It kind of just fixed itself. I'm assuming there's something going wrong with the connection of this cable between the trailer and the truck. If the brakes keep locking, we're not gonna be able to leave. At this point, we're already late. Let's try this again. Oh, still no go. Trying to move. Brakes locked. Not good. At this point, we're already late. Not sure what to do. The only thing that comes to mind is cleaning the contacts in those cables, which I did three times already. Brakes are locked. We can't leave this gas station. To be honest with you, this is driving me crazy. We're completely stuck. Not sure what to do. The only thing I can do is disconnect the cable, tow it a little bit without brakes on the trailer going really slow and see if maybe that resets the situation. I think I narrowed the problem down to the brake controller issue. It's the trailer brake controller that's malfunctioning. If I can reset the fuse for it, we may make some headway. The problem is locating the right fuse. This is the picture in the Ford car manual book. We're looking for number, we're looking for number four. This is what the fuse box looks like. If these corresponded to each other in any way, I might be able to disconnect the right one, but they don't really. Alternatively, I could just disconnect the whole battery, but that resets a lot of settings in the car and it's my last resort. I'm sorry for my bad. There's another chart in the manual that corresponds much better to what's actually in the fuse box. Now I can locate the right fuse. That's progress. Correct fuse out. Restarting the car to see what happens. Fuse out, car on. Very curious to see what happens now. All right. Here we go. Brake still locked. I'm still pretty sure it's a faulty brake controller because normally when you start this car it displays a message showing the brake power level that you can adjust here with these two little buttons and you can manually squeeze the brake if you need to. Right now this message is not displayed. It hasn't been displayed since this problem began about an hour ago at this point. So my theory is there's something wrong with the brake controller. Tried pretty much everything we could think of. 
the issue persists. The brakes let go when you disconnect the electrical cable. Disconnected the battery to reset the whole computer system. That didn't do anything. The additional problem is it's Sunday. Everything is closed. Every Ford service dealership around us, every RV repair service, everything. There's nothing open. Tried calling several places, everybody's closed. We can't stay in this gas station. So we're gonna disconnect the freaking cable and slowly roll out of here without brakes on the trailer, not exceeding 40 miles an hour. It's not super safe, but at this point we ran out of options. It doesn't only mean not having the brakes on the trailer, but also not having lights on the trailer. Every turn, every braking attempt, dangerous. What does this do? This is a different type of connection for like a boat or something. It's the same thing, it's just a Right different... signal, left signal. I don't know what that means. Where, how do you unplug this? You pull this. I feel like it has something to do with the truck because first of all the truck is it's always giving us problems. Second of all, I just think it has to do with the truck. <laughs> I agree. I think the trailer is fine because if you disconnect this the brake the brakes do unlock. So I don't think it's a trailer issue. There is a wire behind the tire and theoretically if something's disconnected here it could be causing a short or some sort of an issue or I might be talking completely out of my ass and this doesn't mean anything but this is the wheel that was changed in Colorado although ever since then we drove about a thousand miles without this issue. It could be that, but we drove about a thousand miles since this happened. Yeah, but if Stopped it was loose, times. but if it was loosely connected, that's what I was thinking. Before we disconnected it several times, and then it, the issue just but went away. But do you away. remember how long it was? And, and I feel like it was several minutes. Yes, but that's what I'm saying. I feel like when we did that, there was all these different okay let's turn it off and then do this and let's do it and then turn it on do you know what I mean I feel like there's an order like in a computer it is a computer that's what it is we were able to confirm just from doing online searches that these are electric brake controller cables but the problem is, they all seem fine on every wheel. Search for the problem goes on. Getting hungry. Looks like we're gonna spend the rest of our lives in wherever we are in Pennsylvania right now. We're just gonna live in this gas station here. Trying the battery disconnect one more time, just because we don't have any other ideas. It's now 1 p.m. so basically four hours later I think we'll just go home slowly without the brakes on the trailer it is fine if you don't exceed 40 miles an hour there's no big hills or downhill driving between here and home we should be okay we had another idea of finding an adapter that would let us connect the circular plug into the uh, flat plug that's meant for basically just having lights on the trailer so at least we could have lights and still have no brakes but that also didn't work um, the truck stop gas station does not have this type of equipment we can keep searching at other stores that are nowhere near here um, it is now 3.45 p.m. We have to get home tonight, so we're just gonna roll slowly. Probably take six hours to get home instead of three, but we have to go. Remember how I just said there is no crazy hills and downhill drives on the way home? 
We just saw the giantest possible sign that said 8% grade and then old bunch of warnings like trucks stay in reduced gear, truck runaway ramp to the right. Of course, we've never seen or, or have been with an Airstream on a grade like this before, only today when we have no brakes on the trailer. <laughs> this is just beautiful. This is the road. It doesn't look that bad in the video, it looks nice, but it's an 8% grade with a lot of crazy turns. Without brakes on the trailer, you have about 8,000 pounds pushing you down the road. Here we go, runaway truck ramp. At least those are here, that makes me feel better. Just saw the sign saying, end reduced gear zone. We're safe. tractor supply store guy this is what we came up with this is the new connector and it goes in here question is can we drive without the brakes locking or not the moment of truth here here we go we're going we're going we're going the brakes are not locking at least we have lights now we don't have brakes on the trailer, but we do have lights. So at least we can drive safer and figure the rest of this stuff tomorrow. Partial success. this we can drive the airstream on the moon <laughs> 